All right, everybody, uh, we're back. My next guest tonight. Uh, is... hey, hey, Conan? Uh, yeah, Max? No, Conan, I just wanted to say, you're doing a great job tonight. You know, your timing's good, you're moving things along. I think it's been a really good show so far. Oh, well, thanks a lot, Max. I appreciate that. You know, when we started doing this show back in 1993, things weren't quite up to speed. But I like to think that since then, this show has really evolved. Whoa, 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 hold on, Conan. What do you mean this show has evolved? Sir, all I'm saying is I mean it's gradually changed over time to become what it is today. Poppycock! <laughs> Excuse me? I said poppycock, sir. Like many other people, I happen to believe that this show did not evolve over many years, but was created just last week by a supreme being who wanted something to watch after Leno. <laughs> Well, sir, I don't know where you got that idea, but I assure you, we've been on the air for almost 12 years. That is blasphemy, sir! <laughs> Why, it says right here in the good book, and on the final day, the Lord did make Conan's hair, and he said, let it be red, and then he did make a couch for the guests to sit on and cameras to record their amusing anecdotes. And then he did pluck the Max Weinberg 7 from Conan's pale, pasty buttocks. <laughs> God's sakes. Come on! C Conan, don't let this guy bother you. Every rational person knows where your show really came from. Thank you, sir. So you agree that my show has evolved? It certainly did evolve from apes. <laughs> you see, in 1993, they put a bunch of monkeys in a cage, and one of them gave birth to a little mutated monkey. <laughs> that eventually turned into you. <laughs> You were then given this show, which was originally called The Little Mutant Monkey Show. This show was never called The Little Mutant Monkey Show. You know, you and that religious guy are both wrong. Hey, Conan, want to hear my theory? Sure, uh, what's your theory, Joel? Did it ever occur to you that this show and the entire universe surrounding it might just be a dream in the mind of actor John Lithgow? <laughs> That's insane, Joel. Yes, I've never heard such blasphemy. Yeah, why don't you shut up? You shut your heathen hole, sir. Oh, this is, this is both of you shut up. Keep quiet, all right? Silence, you fools. Keep your voices down. You'll wake up John Lithgow. <laughs> Silence. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> that was the stupidest dream I've ever had. <laughs> and it'll be right back after these commercials. <laughs> 